Diamond Lady Lynx, West Anchorage Eagles in the nest, cook in the conference play. Tara Thompson snaps the net, three zip links, we're off. The young boy battling for block position, takes the feed down deep, shortens, and banks. Jameer Cochran breaks up the pass, Fua Malatia releases quickly, Marshala Edie feeds, Eagles up one. Rowan Hudson takes the puck outside the arc, quick cut back to the mid-range, drops the bucket and the bonus, links by two. Jamira Cochran pushing the tempo, blowing by links, earns a bunny. Thayung Poi steps out to screen. Chanel Booker rubs it and drop passes. Thayung, three. Marshala Edie picks up ball in the zone, breaks up the pass, and heads west. Beats two to add two. Marshala skips. Fua Maltia uses the tight angle fundamental to sink the runner. Eagles up nine. Once again, Thayong ball screens. Drifts out. She gets to the high post. And drops in mid. CC working the rock. Gets to six and kicks. Thayong pops. She can't miss. Thayong five of six from the floor on the night. Edie to Booker. Buckets. Eagles up 26-10 after one. Marshala. Freedy. The Lynx haven't lost a conference game in years, but they're down 21 in a flash. Justine Anderson withstands a pair of bumps as she spins, but she ends Diamond's scoring drop. But everything's going down. West side, CC for three. Lynx in transition. Rowan Huss pulls up and hits a tough baseline floater. But the Eagles use big ball transition. CC to Thua. Layup. The Eagles are at it again. But Tara Thompson defends and steals. Pushes it to the arc. Buries the three. Thompson to Deja Canty. Three more. Tara to Deja. Deja, three. The Lynx hit the break strong, still down 15 at the half. The Eagles start the second half deliberately, working matchups and taking advantage of Chanel Booker's post skill. Chanel initiates the cut. Works for great position. Marcella Edie feeds the entry into space. Sven says, Bookert, Bookert. And even on a miss three, Chanel uses positioning to score. Southside. Tara Thompson still reigning threes. Links in transition. Roland Huss throws a BB to Deja Canty. Again in transition, Nino Martinez rescues the possession and hits Tara at the arc. Shooter links down 13, end of three. In the half court, the zone leaves the shooter. Tara Thompson, 10 point game. Off the inbounds, Tara relocates off of a pair of screens, triples. West side, Chanel and Marshala are still working together. This time, Chanel wedges and Marshala works the open short corner to the bucket. Same inbounds look, this time the Eagles double tear. But Thompson gets the edge and banks a floater. 26 point night, 7 of 15 from the floor. West gets it back to 9, but Nikki Foray splits defenders with the cross and finishes lefty. 7 point game, 5 minutes to play. Three ball, no good, but Marshala Edie with a big box out, put back, big points. Same, same, south side. Rowan Huss hits a tough put back J. Marshala slices hard off of the key, misses on the floater, but O-bounds in a crowd, counts the second, nine point lead, just under three to play. The Eagles take 20 seconds off the clock, 
and Booker sinks the dagger. As I understand it, the West Eagles are undefeated and they have just handed the Diamond Lynx their first Cook Inlet Conference loss in as many as five years. That's what I kept hearing. Marshall Aidi, 19 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists, 4 fouls drawn, 7 of 10 from the floor. Chanel Booker, 19 points, 7 rebounds, 3 fouls drawn, 6 of 12 from the floor. Thayun Foy, 11 points, 4 rebounds, 5 of 6 from the floor. For the Lynx, Tara Thompson, 6 of 11 from the arc, 6 of 6 from the stripe, 26 points, 5 steals, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, etc. Roan Huss, 11 points, 9 rebounds, Deja Canty, 11 points, 5 steals. This was a great game. They will meet again on February 15th, maybe sooner, probably later.